I want to make this really quick video to ex quickly explain to you exactly how Bing ads work. So yes, we know now that yes, you'd be making your ad and then people click on it. Yes, but there's a little bit more to it than just that. I want to kind of share with you kind of the logic between like really between your ads and then how Bing's algorithm works for ads. So when you are then finding, you know, keywords and then you're finding, you know, the cost per click per, for them and for each specific one, really how Bing ads really kind of puts you on top as far as like there's going to be other people also going to be more than likely looking for being on that specific, say, ad, especially if it's more competitive. So here, what do I mean by that? So let's just say, for an example, someone types into Bing cheap bikes. When that search result comes up, then you're going to obviously see all these results. A lot of the times, especially if it's a more competitive keyword that people type in, you're going to see first, like probably somewhere between two to three ads at first. Those are going to be the very first results. And then you're going to have what's called then like the organic search results. Those really the, between those like two to three ads on average, those right there, what I'm talking about is how do you get to the top one and, oh, you know, how does, how does Bing really think through all that? So really what how Bing thinks through this is a couple different factors. First is how much you're willing to pay per click. So even if this a certain you know cost per click says you know the recommended starting price is say 50 cents, but if someone puts in let's just say a dollar, well then Bing sees that and says, hey, you know what? We're gonna probably rank them a little bit higher in that. Now is that always the case? No, actually, because Bing also looks at a couple other things, such as then the actual like the title slash like the description of the ad meaning let's just say for an example I am willing to pay 50 cents per click and another company let's just say is willing to pay a dollar a click but I am currently let's say on average getting a total of four clicks meaning I'm paying a total of two dollars total say each time but on the other hand that other ad that's willing to pay a dollar per click is only getting then say let's just say one click so that's a dollar so you gotta keep in mind you know being as is a business as well so they want to be optimizing it to make as much profit as possible so even though that I'm technically paying less per cost per click my ad is converting better meaning it's getting more clicks and in other words really more people are clicking on that which means Bing is gonna get paid more even though the other ad is then even paying them more per click does that make sense so even though now I'm paying less per click there's more people clicking on my ad which means I'm gonna owe technically more to being ads than the other say company that's only getting one click and they're not going to be owing being ads as much so what does all that mean that simply means then you could probably expect to be higher ranked on than like in the actual results of being as far as far as the actual placement goes now you might be thinking well geez isn't the whole point of going you know doing ads to make sure that you know I'm gonna be on a really good placement and what I can tell you is that Yes, that is an important factor. However, for when, especially when it comes to ads, it's definitely not a huge concern in most cases, simply because when you have ads, you're going to be pretty much showing up on the top, pretty much guaranteed. So even if you're not the very first result, you might be the second or maybe even third one. So that's still really solid. And of course, remember too, you're only paying cost per click CPC. So even if you're not getting technically all the clicks, you're only going to be paying for the ones that, you know, the two click through. So keep that in mind as well. So I just want to quickly go over that with you within this video so you can understand of, hey, you know, why is someone over on top of my ad? Or maybe why am I on top of another person's ad? How did that even happen? And I just want to explain to you that is how that really happens. It all goes back to how much you're willing to pay per cost per click and then how many times are people clicking through for your ad. If you have a better optimized ad that people find more attractive than they're clicking through, that then might be able to then rank higher than other ads that are willing to even pay more money for the cost per click. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.